everyone, I'm Leanne. If you don't know me and if you do know me and you're back, thank you so much. I'm glad to have you guys back. Today we are doing a good old empties video. What I'll be repurchasing, what is trash forever. Some of my all time favorites that I keep repurchasing over and over and over again that you've probably seen a million times. If you've been watching my channel for a while, if you've been watching my favorites videos, my empties videos, but I love talking about these forever favorites in these empties videos in case you are a new viewer or in case you've never heard me talk about it because these are the things that I keep going back to over and over again and I really think they're worth the money, they do really well, they work for me and maybe it's something you haven't heard about. So I love doing empties videos, you guys love empties videos and I haven't done one in I think over three months and I haven't been doing a lot of Thursday videos in the past month, I've been so tired feeling so crummy and nauseous and all the normal pregnancy things. It's all expected, but it's been rough, but I'm doing my best to get back in it. I really appreciate you guys being here, watching my vlogs and supporting me. It means the world to me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I feel really sleepy right now. So if I seem off, that's what's going on, but we are here and we're gonna talk about a whole bunch of favorites. We have graduated to a full on beach bag as my favorite receptacle even says beach on it. I got a lot of stuff to talk to you about. Lots of old favorites, some new favorites too. So here we go. Where do we begin? I have no idea. I was just taking a picture for the thumbnail, holding this bag up and my arm got so tired. I have got to do some kind of strength training. I don't know how I'm gonna hold a baby. That's another issue. Tell me your favorite workout that's free on YouTube, ideally. I've asked this before. I asked it at the very beginning of COVID. I had a lot of motivation at that time. It went away quickly, but I'm back and I'm asking again. <laughs> okay, let's just get started with something I'm definitely not repurchasing. This is the Orbe Bright Blonde Shampoo. It's a purple shampoo and it was roughly a million dollars. It was definitely the most expensive shampoo I've ever bought in my life, like normal sized, regular bottle of shampoo. I've had it for so long because I was trying to just like make it last because it's so fancy and expensive. And honestly, I don't know why I bought this. I bought this at the salon. I feel like I might've asked a question like, oh, which one is the best blonde shampoo? And they're like, obviously this one is obviously the most expensive one. And honestly, I can't remember how much it was. I cannot justify this purchase. And I don't even wanna look up how much it was because I know that I'm gonna feel bad all over again. Definitely would not repurchase or really recommend. I don't feel like it did anything like out of this world amazing for my hair as far as like toning it or even just generally as a shampoo. Totally did not get addicted. I'm not hating on the brand Orbe. You guys know I'm totally addicted to their texture spray. I've got one right here all used up. I go through cans of that like crazy. I hate that I'm addicted to that. And this was just, not incredible for me. Oh wow, surprisingly, I only have one can of this in this whole thing. I was gonna try to like weed them out. I think maybe I'm cutting down on my addiction a little bit. I'm proud of myself. Let's go ahead and talk about a shampoo I absolutely do recommend and I am completely addicted to. It's the R & Co Television Perfect Hair Shampoo. I've been using this one for a long time and ever since I started using this shampoo and fell in love with it, I would always buy the smaller bottles of it and go through it kind of quickly, not super quickly. I only wash my hair like twice a week. I don't use tons and tons of shampoo, but I felt like I was going through them pretty quickly and I finally sprung for the big like salon size bottle. This is definitely a lot more expensive, but it just kept one of the smaller shampoo bottles in my shower and refill it with this larger one. And I finally got through the whole thing. I still love this stuff and I'm definitely repurchasing it. And actually seeing this here in the bag reminds me I need to purchase another one because it's like a forever repurchase. My hair does not get sick of it, doesn't get used to it. I know a lot of people say that about different shampoos. My hair just does so well with this shampoo. It doesn't get as oily as fast. I don't like to wash my hair every other day, every day, like no way, I cannot live that life. And even with dry shampoo, I feel like with other shampoos, my hair gets dirtier and feels dirtier and looks dirtier anytime I use anything but this. Now and then I do mix in a purple shampoo and I have different brands than just this one, but my day-to-day -day tried and true absolute favorite is this one. All right, let's move on to some makeup. I have two of the Benefit Brow Micro Filling Pens. 
I love these so much. I've talked about them a million times. I talked about them in my 2020 favorites. The love is strong. I haven't tried another brow pen since I started using this one. That's how you know. I just keep repurchasing it. It is so incredible because it's not just like a single pointed brow pen. It's got three points. So not only are you filling in your brows with really fine hair-like strokes, but you're doing it a whole lot faster. I just love this so much. I love the color. I love the tone. I get it in blonde, which a lot of times blonde shades for brows can just be so weird. They can sometimes be greenish, they can be gray, they can be yellow, they can be so weird, but this product, so good. Actually, whoa, this one is actually the light brown. I had a phase where I was trying light brown. I feel like that's too dark for me. This one's the blonde. I love the blonde so much. Another product for brows that you guys know that I love, and it's hard for me to see myself purchasing something else because this is from the drugstore and it is so, so good. It's the CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow. And for this one, I get the color light. Again, it just works for me. It's what I have on my brows right now. It's a combination of this and the brow pen. It actually gives my brows some stick and basically nothing gives my brows stick because I have very fine brow hairs that kind of just do whatever they want. Like if I brush them up, they don't go with it. They don't get with the program. They don't listen to me at all. I love this so much. It's nice and pigmented. The color is good. For mascara, I have a L'Oreal Telescopic. It's what I've been using for, I don't know, the past six months. I know this is a mascara that's been around for ages. I never tried it and I don't know why because it is so, so, so amazingly good. It's lengthening, it gives me volume, but it also separates them. I'm just in love with it. I finally get the hype. And for my lip liner, this is what I've been wearing nonstop since I tried it. It's the Maybelline Color Sensational Shaping Lip Liner in the color Dusty Rose. It's what I have all over my lips right now and it's what I've had on my lips ever since I discovered it. I think this is another one that I mentioned in my 2020 favorites. If I didn't, I totally should have. I love this so much. I actually just went to CVS last night, like emergency trip to the drugstore, which I would never do because I was out of this lip liner. And I like to have one in my makeup bag. I like to have one in my purse so I can have one anywhere I need it. It's on the level of like NYX Peekaboo Neutral, which I used for years, or like Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. I love that one also but this one is from the drugstore. It's affordable, it's amazing, it's a my lips but better kind of thing. I just love it so much. And I feel like it makes my lips look great. Next up, you guys have definitely seen me talk about this one in the past. It's the Tanologist Face and Body Drops and I get it in dark. I love this so much for the face, mixing it into moisturizer before bed. It gives me a nice little glow, brightens up my face because I don't usually use my body self tanner on my face, you totally can. I don't think that's a problem, but I just usually don't because it comes off of my face so quickly. But I also like to use this in my moisturizer all over my body to bump up my self tanner when I'm feeling like it's starting to fade. And it actually really does make a difference. I feel like a lot of these are more of like a gradual tan and I just, <laughs> can't be bothered to work with a gradual tan. Like, just give me some color. This gives me color. I get it from Target. It's not expensive and I really like it. Well, I will say the only thing I don't love, just to warn you in case you try it and you haven't tried it before, you do have to be careful whenever you are closing it because you might get a little bit on your fingers from the cap if you're not careful and you definitely have to wash your hands and be really aware if it does get on your hands because obviously it will leave spots. And that's not cute, not fun. It will make you hate yourself tanner. Okay, next up I have two of these. Oh, actually these are different. They look so similar. The CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser and then the Cetaphil. Oh, this is lotion. I don't know what I'm talking about at all right now. <laughs> okay, this is a cleanser. I really like it. It's just a gentle, nice, fragrance-free cleanser. Definitely will repurchase. I've been using CeraVe and Cetaphil products since, I don't know, like, 15 years basically since I was in high school when I first started to see a dermatologist those are the things that they recommend because they're very accessible to everyone they're fragrance free and they're just good and gentle and this is definitely something that I'll always come back to I don't always stick to this exclusively but I definitely see myself repurchasing it when I'm done with the cleanser that I'm using right now which is Sunday Riley and I've been enjoying that okay back to this one <laughs> the Cetaphil daily advance lotion with shea butter 
powder. It's for dry, sensitive skin, nourishing 24 hour hydration. I think this is good. I didn't end up repurchasing this one when I was done with it. I've moved on to something else, but I definitely would repurchase it and I would recommend it. It's nice. There isn't a fragrance. I don't need a fragrance in my lotion. That's just too much. Okay, wow. The very next thing I see in the bag is this, the Coco Radiant Vaseline Lotion. I've used this on and off for so many years, and for whatever reason, I came back to it. It's a good lotion. Definitely has that cocoa butter scent, which I really like. And I think of it as a more like natural kind of scent, even though it probably isn't in this one. Whatever. <laughs> I make no sense. This is the one I actually have in my bathroom right now downstairs. I did repurchase this one and I would repurchase this one also. Uh, it's the Vaseline Intensive Care Advanced Repair Unscented. And I really like this one. It's a light and easy, doesn't make you feel greasy or weighed down. You know, if you're putting on leggings right after you put on your lotion, after you get out of the shower, you won't feel like sticky and gross. It's not that heavy, but I feel like it does moisturize. So I really like that one. It's from the drugstore, so it's easy to access. Let's move on to, I guess, some more hair products. We are going in no order. You know how I do this. So. You guys know how I feel about this guy, the Amica Soul Food Nourishing Mask. It is so amazing. I've used it for years at this point. I use it as my normal conditioner every single time I shampoo. Um, you could totally use it as a mask as well. The scent is incredible even whenever it's been sitting in a bag for possibly months. Beyond the scent, beyond the cute packaging, beyond all of that, it's just a really, really good product. And I feel like it's really made a difference in keeping my hair strong, preventing breakage. You know, obviously I do color my hair. It goes through a lot. And basically I just feel like this keeps the hair on my head. It's just really good and conditioning and moisturizing. It doesn't weigh my hair down. I mostly just put it on the ends. It's just so good. And that's why I've been using it for years and recommend it every single chance I get. But a while ago, I got inspired by some recommendations that I saw and I tried the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. It was the 2019 Allure Beauty Expert Reader's Choice, whatever, whatever. This was really good. I really enjoyed it. It definitely has a thicker consistency than the Amiga and I liked it, I enjoyed it. And it definitely didn't do anything bad to my hair. It conditioned it, my hair looked good, but I will say I really did miss the scent of the Amica. And I know that's a total like personal preference type thing, but I have to say, I haven't gone back and repurchased this one because I like the Amica so much. I actually have something else in my shower right now that I'm going through that I like, but yet again, it's just not as good as this. And I think the performance level on that one is actually not as good, but I do think this one is a good option if you really love the fragrance. All right, let's mix it up a little bit. Here is a Maybelline The Rocket volume. I know I've seen a lot of you guys comment and say, this is how you found me, or this is one of the first things that I made you buy way back like 10 years ago, not 10 years ago, maybe like eight years ago. I talked about this mascara because I loved it so much. I get the waterproof and this is my favorite first step mascara. It's how I keep my super straight lashes curled all day long. I layer on other mascaras after I use this waterproof one and they stay curled all day long. It's really miraculous. I've tried different waterproof formulas, different brands over the years, and I keep coming back to this one and I love it so much. I've been using it consistently. I, had a, I have a new tube that I've been using and I just love it. It's just so good. For all these years, it stayed the same. It's just amazing. And I would absolutely repurchase, recommend all of those things. Next up, this is a little tiny baby bottle of CeraVe. PM Facial Moisturizing Lotion. I've talked about this a million times. I use this moisturizer AM and PM. Obviously in the morning I do pair it with an SPF. Uh, but for this one particularly, I was so shocked. I was like, did they change things? Like what happened? I think I just purchased this at the, like the drugstore or CVS or the grocery store or something. It's so small, but not like travel size. It's just 
slightly smaller than my normal bottle and I'm so used to purchasing this and repurchasing this. I was just like, what have they done? Honestly, I haven't seen this one anywhere else since I bought this. I just wasn't paying attention because it comes in a box. Obviously, I would not repurchase the small version if I was paying attention, uh, but I do love this moisturizer. I think it's very nice and lightweight. I have oily skin and it really agrees with me. Okay, moving on, we've got a bunch of self tan and self tanner remover. This is the Saint Tropez Self Tan Express. I really like this one because you don't have to leave it on as long, but it gives you a really nice color. I do typically leave it on longer than they say on the packaging. They say like, oh, with a three hour wear, you're gonna get a really dark tan. I don't feel like that's the limit. I think you could leave it on for four or five hours. I just put it on when I'm gonna be at home like editing or uploading a video or something like that. And I feel like it gets darker if you leave it on a little bit longer and there's no harm in it. Okay, and then I also have the Bondi Sand Self Tan Eraser. I love this stuff. I think it works so well, but lately I haven't been repurchasing it. It's not because I don't like it or I don't think it works. I just keep forgetting to repurchase it and I keep doing my self tanner. I just scrub it off with my scrubby gloves and I'm okay, so. I don't know, maybe I'm eliminating that stuff, I'm not sure. Oh wait, no, actually one of the reasons why I haven't repurchased this is because it does have a slight smell and it's not like a fruity, beachy smell. I mean, it kind of is, it's kind of a perfumey smell, but there's like an undertone of like cleaner, not bleach, but maybe something like bleach. And that smell started to get to me. And so I was just kind of like, let's take a break. It's a product that I really like. I don't want to say bad things about it because I've recommended it so many times, but for whatever reason, the smell started to get to me. I don't know if it's a pregnancy thing, whatever. Dry shampoo. <laughs> you guys know how much I love this dry shampoo. It's the Amica Perk Up Dry Shampoo. The smell is amazing. The smell is the same as the nourishing mask. It just feels light, fluffy, fresh on my hair. And when I run out of this and use a different dry shampoo, I notice a huge difference. Other dry shampoos weigh down my hair, make my hair feel grittier and dirtier. And if you like that, if that's what you're looking for, if you're looking for a lot of like volume from your dry shampoo, go for it. But this one, it just feels so light and fresh and it smells so good. I can't get away from it. I notice when I try something different, obviously I will repurchase it. I actually have a can of it coming to me from Sephora right now. I cannot wait for it to get here because I'm completely out and it's killing me. Next up, here's one that honestly, I kind of forgot about. I like this product though. It's the Paula's Choice Niacinamide 20% Treatment. I've talked about this before. I feel like I see a difference in my skin when I use this but for whatever reason, it kind of just moved out of my routine. I couldn't even tell you why. I just feel like since I found out I was pregnant, I just really simplified my skincare routine. Not because this product is bad or you can't have a complicated skincare routine when you're pregnant. I've just been really tired and I've just been like sticking to the basics. And I've been lucky that my skin hasn't been freaking out at least for the past couple of months. As bad as it was when I first started all the medication to do the transfer, my skin was not okay at this point. And, and I do have like little things popping up, but they're not huge painful things that I really feel like I need to treat. So I don't know, this one has moved out of the routine. I would definitely recommend it. I thought it was good for my skin, but for whatever reason, I haven't repurchased it. Sometimes it just goes like that. Okay, here's an old favorite. Back in the day, like the first, I don't know how many years of doing empties videos, it was just like, it was not Alianza's empties video if it did not have a bottle of Batiste. And I still really love Batiste, especially the volumizing version. I really, really, really like this. I wouldn't say that I am obsessed with the scent or anything, but I do like what it does for my hair. And when I would use this, it would be like my third or fourth day hair uh, when this wasn't doing as much for me and I knew I was gonna wash my hair like the next day because this is definitely one that I can feel in my hair and I don't love that that much, but it does do good things for me. It sounds confusing, 
I promise it's not. All right, here's something else that I don't think I've ever talked about on my channel. This is the Native Eucalyptus and Mint Body Wash. I did a sponsorship with Native. I've talked about the deodorant. I like the deodorant. And when I picked the scents that I wanted to try, they sent me the pairing of body wash. And I have the Eucalyptus Mint. This is the first one that I used out of the three that they sent me. And I really, really liked it. And right now I'm using, I think the coconut flavor. I could be wrong about the name, but I like that one as well. I really like this scent. I think I like this scent better. And I'm pretty sure you can get this at Target. I'm not sure if I'm wrong about that, but I do like that body wash a lot. Next up, this is one I always recommend. It is so good. It saves my hair because I have super, super tangly hair. It is fine. It is color treated and it's also long. And I feel like all of those things together is just a recipe for the tangliest hair ever. Like when I get my hair done, they're always blown away by how tangly it really is and how long it takes to brush it out. I feel bad, but this stuff really saves me when I have to brush out my wet hair. It's the Oi All-in-One Milk. It's a heat protectant and detangler. I love it so much. I've repurchased it a hundred times. I will repurchase it in the future a hundred more times. I definitely don't get it on my roots. It's definitely a midway down kind of thing, but it's just so, so, so amazing. All right, next up, I have two body products from Drunk Elephant. And is this packaging not the happiest, cutest packaging you've ever seen? I love it so much. Their whole line, whenever they sent it out to me, both of these were sent to me as well as I think all the rest of their hair care, body care line whenever it was released. Honestly, for a long time, I just had it sitting in my bathroom because I thought it was so cute. I do have to say, these are Drunk Elephant products, the body lotion and the body cleanser. These are not very big bottles and I got through them relatively quickly. I'm definitely somebody that goes through a lot of lotion. I mean, you see the size of these other bottles. I use a lot of lotion. I love to use lotion head to toe and I'm pretty sure this one is $20. I know the bigger size is even more. It's like $44, $45 or something. And I just wouldn't pay that. I know it's Drunk Elephant. They probably have just the best ingredients ever. I love Drunk Elephant for skincare, but when it comes to body wash and lotion, it's really just not something that I'm willing to invest a lot of money in. And maybe someday I will be a lot more picky about my ingredients. But for now, at the point in my life where I am right now, I'm not paying those prices for those kinds of products, even though I did enjoy both of those. And hey, if you like to spend a lot of money on those kind of things, definitely worth a try. But for me, I probably won't be repurchasing. Now, next up, this is a Isle of Paradise self tanning drops in dark. I really like this and I was using these for a long time. They work really well, but I wouldn't say they work any better than the tanologist and the tanologist is less expensive. So I haven't been repurchasing this and I've just been getting the tanologist. Next up, this is an eye cream that I think I had in my travel bag for way too long. It's the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Cream for Eyes. Why did they write it like this? It has hyaluronic acid in it and I think it was pretty good. I don't think I'm gonna be repurchasing it, but it was all right, you know? All right, that's it. Finally, the beach bag is empty. Those are all of my empties, what I would repurchase, what I won't be repurchasing, and what I would recommend. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's kind of like a favorites video for me. I haven't been doing favorites videos as consistently, but I feel like this serves the exact same purpose because it's actually products that I've completely used up. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely come say hi over on social media. It's Leanne Says everywhere, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I'm definitely most active on Instagram and I'm almost always updating on my story. Definitely come and watch my vlogs every Tuesday. I'm sorry I've been absent on Thursdays, especially last month. I feel like maybe I'm getting my strength back a little bit. I don't want to say that because I don't want to jinx myself, but I feel like maybe I'm coming back a little bit. I'm nearing the end of the first trimester. So that's what I'm hoping for. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone. I could just fall asleep right now. <laughs> and I feel like, this, why did that scare me so much? So not only are you filling in your browns, your browns. Oh my gosh, my life is falling apart.